She hit me. Yesterday. We're trying to have a baby. So what's wrong with your sperm? Sorry? I said, what is wrong with your sperm? What the fuck is so funny? There's nothing wrong with my sperm. My swimmers are all healthy. The doctor says that... The doctor that said there's nothing wrong with either one of us. Just take some time, that's all. Donna and I, we've been married for five years. I've been trying to give her a baby in the last year, you know, but it's not like we're making love. We just have sex to a timetable. I know, a fucking timetable. I get home one day from work and there it is in the fridge door. Neat columns and colour-coded days. It's so like her. I don't think we should have this on the fridge door for everyone to see. Nobody comes in here except for your mother. Yeah, well, exactly. I'm sure that she's mature enough to handle the fact that her little boy is having sex. Donna, stop it. Right? I, I, I think we should try and... Well, I mean, I just you guys like... are, are great at overpopulating, aren't you? The sweetness is gone. When we were first trying out for a baby, we were so tender with each other. Now she just lies there, doesn't make a sound. She just waits for me to finish. I want to get a donor. What? What do you mean? Um, you know, a sperm donor. From one of those sperm clinics and get myself healthy sperm. Mm. You're not serious, are you? Are you? just insane. What's insane, Miles, is you not being able to get me pregnant after, like, a thousand times. I'm going to do it, and you can't stop me. Of course I can. What do you mean? What are you talking about? It's our child, it's our marriage. You can't do it without my consent. Without your consent? You wouldn't even know the difference, Miles. You know, I could easily get one of your one of your friends to fuck me and, and just lie about it. You wouldn't even know. You would know. That's enough. Right. That's enough. Let's, let's just calm down. You're going to destroy us. You know? You're going to destroy You're our life. You're so dramatic, Miles. Well, has it ever occurred to you that one of the reasons that you're not getting pregnant is all the wine you're drinking? Fuck you. I've had two fucking glasses more than you can say. I look like a saint compared to you, Miles, averaging on your two bottles of whiskey a week. What? That's right. Go outside, go. You will see the bottles piling up all the way outside at the back. 
Well, I've got to get pissed to make love to you. Well, fucking you is like fucking a plank of wood. And don't get me started on the fucking timetable. I mean, what next? Hey? You're going to install a satellite device and a timer in me cock? That's right, Miles. You do that. Fucking a plank of wood be better than fucking your small average cock. You're bang out of order. I mean, that's, that's, that's not fair. It's not easy, right? It's hard getting aroused when the person you're sleeping with just lies there like a sack of fucking rice saying, oh, we better work this time. Well, Baz, rest assured that every single time we have had sex in our entire marriage, that's right, little mummy's boy, I faked every last orgasm. I fantasized about other men Fucking me hard. Well, you know that other guy who came here last week to come and fix the fridge? That's right, the other night when we were doing it, I imagined him lying on top of me and fucking me hard like you've never Bang out of order! You're bang out of order! This whole argument started because you demanded that I give you a child. And why the fuck would I want to give you a child when you talk to me like that? Shame, Miles. Did I, did I hurt you? Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! Come here! You want a child. That's all you fucking think about. You're obsessed with it. You're obsessed with having this child. I don't, I don't know who you are anymore. I don't know where you are. You don't do anything. You, you don't listen to music. You don't paint. You don't even cook. And when you do cook, I can't even eat it. Look at me! If you think that I'm some little prick that you can manipulate into having a kid, you're wrong. You're absolutely fucking lutely wrong. Or maybe I should do both of us a favour and fuck off. Then you can collect all the cum you want from them fucking desperados and have a kid on your own. And I can actually get some pleasure out of fucking. You know what, Miles? Please, please, please do me the favour and fuck off out of my house. And never come back. You don't mean that. You don't, you don't fucking mean that. I really, really do. You had sex two nights ago. Right? You could be pregnant. You could have a child. And then everything will be fucked. It's fucked because we're going to look at that child and we're going to know that that child wasn't made out of love. What's the matter with you? Oh, there you go with the headphones again. You never fucking listen to me. You never fucking listen to me! Why don't you listen to me? What's the matter with you? anything, Miles, is your pathetic little ego. Give it up! You like, I'm not going to let anyone impregnate my mate. You like some sort of fucking territorial dog who wants you piss all over its territory. Stop messing with you! Why are you like this? What's happening to you? I don't understand! Fucking hell, Miles! What the fuck is wrong with you? Just calm down and I know this is frustrating. Oh, just, 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 just calm down. Okay. No! You can't give me a child, Miles! Well, I'm gonna go now. So that you can calm down. I mean, I've never been slapped by anyone, you know? I mean, 
when I left, I half expected Donna to say sorry. Half expected her to ask me to stay. Hmm. Uh, nothing. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm really, really one for hitting women, but I mean, sometimes you, you, they just don't know when to stop. Yes. They just carry on pushing and pushing and and just completely no remorse. I mean, you see some of the chicks that come into this bar. I mean, they come in here, they get hammered, and then they just start causing havoc, being unreasonable with their partners, and I mean, well, the one time, in the corner over there, there was this couple, and then at the end of the night, the guy ended up slapping her. You fucking just, me. boom, yeah. And the funny thing is, well, <laughs> it's not really that funny, but she kind of deserved that slap. And, uh, but I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm not one for hitting women in the face, like I said, but, but sometimes you just wanna, you know? In the words of a famous comedian, I don't condone it, mm. but I understand exactly what I mean. <laughs> Women, you can't live with them, you can't live without them, you can't kill them. Mm. You just got to you know, don't try and understand them. Just love them. Mm. Can I get you another last round there? Yeah, make it a double. There you go. Anyway, so I get home. Donna's asleep. Yeah, she must have fallen asleep the moment I left. I didn't want to wake her up because, well, I was scared of what we were going to say to each other. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I tried calling her from work in the afternoon, but she didn't answer. I get home, the place is cleared out. It's fucking empty. All gone. Except for a note she left next to me whiskey bottle. She says, she's made up her mind. She's leaving me. She's going to stay with her parents. She says I'm a fucking cliche. What? And then what happened? She says we're pregnant.